Welcome to HCL at Davos and welcome to WEF 2019. Thank you. Very excited to be here. And Absolutely. thanks for inviting me. Not at all. Looking forward to this conversation. So, also, what are the trends you've been picking up for the last two days? You've been attending all the sessions at the Congress Center. What is it that you want to kind of talk about? We are now uh, at a place uh, in time where so many technologies that we've been talking about, I would say, as hypes for quite some time now artificial intelligence, edge compute, chip computing power. 5G, of course, yes. uh, and I think the big shift is they're now becoming reality. And and you could ask, well, that's a very you know these technologies why they're so important. Well, the importance is with the combination of these technologies becoming reality right now. And I would say they move from slogans to reality. Right. Uh, they're going to have a profound impact. Not only if we look at our sector, but mobile's uh, connectivity sector, where which has been primarily a consumer and smartphone business over the last couple of years. We will see it fundamentally transform industries across all areas. Mm -hmm. And this has impact on, you know, on cost, on profitability, revenue, but also on safety, mm -hmm. on security, and also positive impact even on sustainability. Yeah. So I think at the moment we're at a place where this technology have huge opportunities uh, in all industries not only in B2C and experiences, but all these business values, and having huge business and social impact. But for that to unleash and to do that in a responsible way, right. we need to work together. And I think from, from that context, an event like World Economic Forum is as important than ever for us as a company. I mean, the theme this year for the World Economic Forum is Globalization 4.0 and the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Yeah. What are your thoughts specifically to your industry on the Fourth Industrial Revolution? If you look at mobile at Lafayette, we, we've been in business for 140 years. The last 40 years, we focus on mobile technology. We've been connecting places, people, now things. Now I would say we're connecting intelligence that can be used for instant actions across many areas. Um, while previous mobile generations have been very much of an improved the consumer experience, so we can download our sharing data, we can SMS, we can then use apps on our phones, we can stream videos real time. Then this generation is a bit different. We will still see huge revolutions on the consumer side, new experiences, new immersive experiences and entertainment and gaming. We will see even more uh, a new impact in industrials that no other generation has now gone forward. We see an opportunity, especially with 5G, to enable cutting the cables in the factory. This will enable a couple of things, more flexible production, more reliable production, open up completely new low latency real cases that are mission critical that we cannot find today. But also with uh, an energy efficiency of the connected sensor set at 10 times higher compared to today. So it has a huge impact uh, on all these areas. So I think with that, what we will see is, and the way I'm thinking about it and where we expect the impact, is 5G will be a similar enabler in the same way as steam, electricity, and silicon was for previous industrial uh, revolutions. What are your thoughts? We've been hearing a lot about AI. Mm. What are your thoughts on the uh, you know, harmony between humans and machines for the coming decade, 2030? What do you mm. foresee? First of all, I think there will be huge opportunities. Uh, and I think humans are great at some things and machines are good at, uh, at some things. And we will need both of these capabilities. Mm -hmm. That's been true before in other technology revolutions. We will see that going forward. Uh, so I think what, it will, what AI can enable is that we can, for instance, perform tasks that perhaps is repetitive. They're very good at repetitive, predictable things. They also start to think at some things like optimizing and planning and cognitive thinking to some extent. But machines are not very good at explaining why you had a certain outcome or uh, why you should trust that outcome. Uh, it's also not always the most creative uh, thing. So I think there will always be a role for creativity, innovation and also um, communication and collaboration that humans so far are doing much better than a machine. What are the new skills you think uh, you know, that would be really in demand in the coming 10 years? With a lot of machine learning going on, we will even have, the machines will do the software for us. So you could even challenge how much do we need to you know, become, uh, train ourselves to become coders. Right. What will be important though is to be able to translate those outcomes and say, so why should I trust this outcome? and also be able to scrutinize, is this the right and relevant input data? 
So I think all that critical thinking, but also communication skills, will be important to be able to trust the opportunities we have. That's one. I think another one is to unleash your potential, we still need creativity and innovation. And for that, you know, leadership, in, both in communicating, but also imagining ways. And as all innovation, some of the best innovations spur when you bring bright people together that have different backgrounds, different expertise. So I think the ability to lead those type of teams and unleash that creativity will going forward also be a, a very international uh, important skill. Then of course understanding technology and there will be new waves and uh, new type of capabilities related to technology with through this. So I think the whole STEM area will important, be an important skill going forward as well. Any challenges that come to your mind you know, while we're adapting uh, to the coming 10 years? Any challenges that you foresee? One of the biggest challenges we have going forward is the reskilling and upskilling. Uh, and it, it, it's actually important across all professions. If you look at previous generations, it will, this will hit every industry, every uh, profession, but in different degrees. So I think the whole reskilling and lifelong learning uh, theme is one of the biggest opportunities, but as well as the biggest challenge we face. Thank you so much, Osa. It's been wonderful having you here, Thank having you. this conversation with you.